Hello everybody and welcome back in. I just want to give a little bit of context. If you didn't see my video yesterday, welcome to the next episode of Macro Bio Boy Z, where we're covering the spirit machine gun build. This is using Blood Artisan's Curious to be able to cheat out a bunch of free boon spirits. We can also manually cast boon spirit. And yesterday during the video, I talked about wanting to move around a lot of the different aspects on the build, as well as just generally make it more fluid, get better output from it, and allow it to be able to push higher nightmare dungeons. And I saw a couple comments that were saying like, Sure, the build does fine in, in Nightmare Dungeon tier 60s, but where's that higher Nightmare Dungeon pushing? So I wanted to release this video. We managed to get all the aspects into the places that we want. I think the build works a lot better now, and I just wanted to give a little bit of context if you're coming over from that video and hadn't seen anything. Enjoy this gameplay footage. I'll go over how we change the build in general. As always, there's timestamps to everything down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you at the end of the video. I need time to do that. Oh, now I don't have to worry about what's it called, though. Death Pulse. Sick. Zoop, zoop, zoop a Toscana. Oh. Oh boy, did not pop. Okay, he popped at the end. Cool. Zoop. Hello. I need Ooh. more time. Bada bing, bada boom. It turns out just being able to choose to have an additional 20% damage reduction with a shield that has max life and two different types of damage reduction is pretty good. So that's where I'm drawing inspiration from for the for the cheeky title. I need more time. Is this better than the current Bone Spirit build? I, in Season 1, absolutely. Yes. I believe so. It's basically the same against, like, a single pack of monsters. Like, a, like if the Bone Spirit would kill them on the single pack. But it's when things keep joining into the fight that this one really starts to shine. Also, it's just, like, a better speed farming build, I think. I need more time. In general. Doesn't look that speedy because I'm in a tier 87 at 91 with incomplete Paragon boards. But, yeah. I need more time. Hello, everybody. Let's see if I survive. Oof. I need time to there we go. So if you saw my last video, you might have heard me talking about kind of moving around some of the aspects, some of the things that I think would be required for the build to really strive and do higher Nightmare Dungeons, and well, I went and did that. So if this is your first time being introduced to it, welcome to the Spirit Machine Gun Necromancer. The idea is that you use Blood Artisan's Curious to cheat out a bunch of free Bone Spirit. You can cast Bone Spirit yourself. I wanted to move around a ton of the different aspects so I could slot in some additional survivability and utility. So I'm not going to go over every single thing again. I'm going to link to the video right here and I'm going to link to it in the description. So you can watch the original one just to get an idea. This is just to highlight what I changed and to also show some of the gameplay from this higher Nightmare Dungeon. So I'm only level 91. This was a tier 87. It means that the monsters are 50 levels higher than me at this point. So pretty decent test for the survivability of a build that 
is running a piece of armor that doesn't have damage reduction or maximum life on it. So I'm pretty excited to show you what I've changed so you can get a better idea of how to pilot this in Higher Nightmare Dungeons. As you saw against the boss, I don't think that this thing has exceptional clear speed. I was a little bit afraid to actually be able to use Bone Spirit itself, and you notice when I did it at the end of the fight, it seemed to clear it out much faster. So I think in the future, I would just make sure to open with Bone Spirit and cast it more often throughout the fight as opposed to relying on the armor itself. The big difference on the build right now is I swapped out to a real shield that has actual damage reduction stats on it, and I can put on another utility aspect. On top of that, I've moved around some of the other aspects just so I can fit more onto the build without having to sacrifice so much, but any shield that's going to have lucky hit chance, damage reduction, and maximum life are your go-tos here. I wish I just had damage reduction to close as well, but we can rely on having a corpse explosion up on the target so we can use damage reduction from shadow targets pretty easily. And then this one just happened to roll with two separate amounts of lucky hit chance. Now that I've tested it out, I'm actually going to go upgrade this shield. I completely forgot to do that. So I'm missing out on a ton of maximum life, a ton of damage reduction, and a ton of bonus lucky hit chance here. I've moved Serration off from our amulet so that we could add on Shielding Storm to the amulet since you can put a defensive bonus here. I would much rather have Disobedience, but I already have a perfect Disobedience here. This is a little bit of a meme build that I was just kind of trying out. So I think in the real end game version of this, I probably put Disobedience onto the amulet if I really want to, and then leave Bone Storm either on the helmet or on the pants. I left Embalmer on the pants, moved Serration over onto the gloves, and I moved Explosive Mist down onto the boots. This is going to lose us a little bit of mobility because we don't have Wind Striker or Ghost Walker, but I think it's worth it to be able to add on the additional defensive aspect. And then we currently have Might on the shield. Might is obviously a great addition to the build. If you wanted to go even tankier, you could actually drop Hemorrhage and kind of not rely on that to be able to generate more Blood Orbs, but instead use Reap. Reap is going to gain you additional damage reduction and also allow you to open up fights with a corpse so that you can use that for corpse tendrils in situations where you're not just going to blood mist in every single fight. So I don't think that Reap is a terrible addition to the build and is probably the overall tankiest option that you could use on it. But yeah, didn't change anything else with the skill tree, didn't change anything else with the Paragon board. I just wanted to show you where I've moved the aspects that I was kind of thinking about moving in general, and hopefully this gives you an idea of how to build it even tankier for Nightmare Dungeon pushing, and be able to just survive and be able to play more flippantly when you are doing stuff like speed farming. Um, I do think you could probably drop the might here and instead move Explosive Mist to the shield and then leave Wind Striker or Ghost Walker up on the boots for speed farming, but that's up to you. That's how you want to play the build, etc. Thank you very much for watching this quick little video. I hope that you enjoyed the gameplay, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.